You are listening to TurningWealth.com for Wednesday, the 24th of October, 2018. We see stocks down for the day as we were hoping. We see bonds up, gold up. Let's jump first in the S&P 500 as depicted by SPY, the exchange traded fund. Going to our third week of strong down movement. Remember, we had that weekly vertical crossover for the week ending the 12th of October. Red down candle forming. Two days into this five-day candle, derivative oscillator gaining downward momentum, price percent oscillator heading down, down 0.54% for the day. We go to the two-day chart. What do we see? We see, again, derivative oscillator losing a little bit of momentum, but that price percent oscillator, our main indicator, we got a special training on that for you today. At the end of the program, there'll be a link to that. I hope you understand fully what the price percent oscillator is, very akin to the MACD, but better. And we have some great training on trend lines, which are always helpful, and crossovers, why they're so important, like those weekly vertical crossovers. And the two-day, those are also helpful to us. So we see, again, a long wick on the bottom of the red Heiken Ashi candlestick price movement below the two-day and the weekly. And then we go from the two-day to the four-hour. What do we see? We had that crossover going down in the morning. Bit of a pullback in the afternoon. Hope that you use that as an opportunity to jump into the down trade. We will see how things go. Derivative oscillator gaining momentum. Price percent oscillator is uh, pretty much flat. We'd like to see it spiking down more, but that bit of a pullback at the end of the day changed that somewhat. But again, we've been waiting for the kind of down move that we had in the morning to give us a jumping in point. Let's see how long that will take us. Again, going into that third week of down movement after that weekly vertical crossover going down. So we go from the S&P 500 to QQQ, which is, of course, the NASDAQ 100, and three more down candles there. Remember, we had that weekly vertical crossover way back on the 21st. We've already had a down play on this chart. We had about two weeks of sideways sliding, and then we started off with a big down week for that week ending the 12th of October. Another down week on the 19th, and appear to be going to our third down week, derivative oscillator gaining, downward momentum, price percent oscillator also heading down. We go from the weekly to the two-day. Two days still heading down. Derivative oscillators lost a little bit of momentum, but that price percent oscillator heading down. And we have that red, strong red down candle, solid reds, what I mean by that, with a long wick on the bottom price movements below the two day and the weekly chart. And like we said, things are continuing to move down. Candle is fully drawn now on this two-day chart. If you remember yesterday, just one day in. And what we had happen was very interesting. We had a movement down and then sort of bouncing back over. So again, keep your powder dry. Pay attention to what the cues is doing here. Maybe it will cross back over. Strong down morning, but a bit of a pullback there in the afternoon. So let's watch and see where that leads us. Don't like seeing that. Would rather see what we saw back on the 4th where we had strong down movement. If you guys remember, we jumped into that play and rode that puppy down and it was quite, quite nice. And again, just wait and see how this is going to play out on the queues if you haven't already jumped into that. If you have, just be careful with that pullback in the afternoon. We have a green spinning top, which of course means indecision tending up, but indecision nonetheless. And again, all that movement as far as the candle body itself goes well within the bounds of that down candle. So we'll watch, see what we see, how the market shapes up on Wednesday morning and afternoon. We go from stocks to bonds. Bonds up for the day, 0.32%. Again, down candle forming after an up week the prior week. Price movements below the weekly but above the two-day. Derivative oscillators lost a little bit of energy. Price percent oscillators still heading down. We see on that two-day chart how, again, it's just flat running along. A lot of times right now, it's either trying to find a bottom to move up or it's just sort of exhausting itself. Again, 
What tells us it may be finding a bottom is the fact that the derivative oscillator is losing downward momentum. Price percent oscillator also is flat heading up a little bit. We have a green spinning top, means again indecision tending up. Price movement has moved above the two-day trend line. So again, keep your eye on things as far as bonds go. We still have things primed to jump into a down move with the two-day and the weekly still in confirmed down moves. We can see that, of course, what's happened on that weekly chart, it was weak, told you to watch out for it in the morning. And, of course, it did not give you a jumping in point because it boomed up in the morning. So, again, if it rotates back over going down, then you can jump in and ride those bonds down. But just keep your powder dry there. We'll see what's up. So, lastly, as always, we go to Gold. Doesn't everybody love gold? Well, what's gold done? Vertical crossover, weekly vertical crossover going up back on the week ending the 5th of October. And we're going into our third week of up movement since then. What again gives me a little bit of concern is it does look like it's peaking out as far as where the price movement is just two days in to this weekly candle, but would like to see the candle bigger than that, but we see that the derivative oscillator is gaining upward momentum. Price percent oscillator is still heading up. We go to the two-day. What do we see there? Again, sort of this topping, and uh, so keep your eyes open for that. Derivative oscillator still has enough energy. It's pushing up. Price percent oscillator heading up on that two-day chart. We go to the four-hour. What do we see? Well, it boomed up in the morning, but that's after a long sideways slide and a down movement over the prior day. So even with that bump up in the morning, wasn't enough energy to cause the four hour chart to cross over going up. So we're continuing to watch and see. And again, good news is derivative oscillators losing downward momentum. So watch if that price percent oscillator crosses over going up on Wednesday or Thursday, then you can jump into a virtual trade on gold and hopefully ride that pony up and do well. We'll continue to watch, see where gold goes. If you haven't purchased our book, you want to support us, do so. Again, great trainings at the end of the podcast here on the Price Percent Oscillator, the trend lines, and crossovers. You need all of those. Enjoy. All the best, my friends. God bless from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters. If you haven't subscribed to our daily market review, don't forget all the special trainings also go out in those same emails along with the weekly review and forecast, what we call the comprehensive review and forecast. So go to our website, chartingwealth.com, sign up. God bless, my friends. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.